To get your OP1 to send the clock to your Eurorack synth, all you gotta do is go to the tempo button on your OP1, turn the green encoder until you get to PO sync, hold shift and turn the green encoder again and you'll get 116 sync. That's gonna put a clock out of the headphone jack on your OP1. Ideally, you wanna use a stereo cable like this one from Hosa. It's just a 3.5 millimeter jack on one side, and then it's gonna separate the signal into the ring and tip. Um, I've got mine hooked up to an IntelliGel case where I've got the inputs routed right through here. The left is gonna be my uh, clock out, and the right is gonna be the audio out of my OP1. Uh, I'm sending my clock to my sequencer, the ER101, and I've just got the audio from the OP1 routed directly to my mixer. Then all you have to do is hit play on the OP1 and it's gonna start sending a clock signal to your sequencer. Then you're free to play your OP1 over the top of it as long as you have it routed correctly to the mixer. Just remember that the ring is gonna be the audio out on your OP1, not the tip. Uh, that's a common misunderstanding. Um, but that's all you need to do. Make sure your tape is playing, otherwise it's not gonna sync up right, which isn't ideal all the time, but unfortunately, that's a sacrifice you have to make, but it's definitely a lot cheaper than trying to find an OP lab used on Reverb or whatever marketplace you wanna use. But if you have any questions, just leave them down below.